Warning, the following program contains scenes of graphic stupidity between a man and some games. Don't take anything Android State too serious, I'm just messing around. This video should not be viewed by anyone. How is it going everybody? Today we are checking out Vayne. Now this is an upcoming open world survival game that we can try out for free over on Steam. Now we've played this before but since then the game has received a number of updates. So we are going to pick up the day right after I created my character and when it comes to character creation we can choose a couple of different things besides our looks. We can choose our stats and our occupation and a unique trait as well and all of these things are going to give us buffs in the game like better weapon handling or better agility and other things like that. But without further ado, let's jump right in the game. Alright and here we are in the world. It looks like we actually start with a few things. We have a pistol, we have some rounds, we also have some shoes and some magazines. Weapon maintenance and weapon ha handling. Right, then we got the t-shirt, the jeans, the shoes, rounds for our pistol and the pistol itself. Nice, do we have any food, any water? It doesn't look like it. And the pistol is on number one. All right, looks like we spawned in the wilderness. All right, which way are we going to go? I guess we can follow the power lines. Agility plus 25. I actually see a road and I think that's a truck up there. So we're gonna go this way. And we're gonna see if we can spot anything. Any buildings that we can loot, get some food, get some water. Maybe get some more bullets for this pistol. Alright, so it looks like there is some sort of a power station here. And there is a car right there as well. Which I'm hoping is actually functional. It may not be, but... Redford Distribution Substation. Now we have a car here. It has all the wheels and everything else, so may, oh, it may work. So we have a couple of zombies chilling in the back there as well. And here's the truck. Can we open the hood? Oh, it looks like it has everything it needs. Some parts are in terrible shape, like the pistons, the exhaust churn, the light bulbs. All right, but I think I think it works, right? Oh, right here we are in the car. Uh, turn on. It actually, it works. And it looks like we have a village up here as well, Redford. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! I'm gonna crash it. I'm definitely gonna crash this car. Well, I guess we're just gonna park up here. Let's uh, turn this off. We can also take the key out, but I'm just gonna leave it in. Nobody's gonna steal it, right? Oh, we can lock the doors as well. All right, let's uh, let's take a look around the town here. We have a car. I was lucky, but it is kind of in terrible shape. I ah, still fine. The pistons might go out, but I guess if we don't crash it into zombies or other things, it's gonna be fine, hopefully. All right, so we're in the town. I just left the car up there, so we're gonna have to remember where we parked it. That's a guy. We're gonna take a look around the town, see if we can find any more bullets for this pistol and some food, maybe some water, things like that. Let's check the garages as well. I'm guessing, oh, hold on. Uh, we can knock. And we can open this. I'm guessing we can find some nice stuff, right? Oh, what the? A sprayer. Alright, can we have a melee weapon as well? We do have... What is this? Ooh. Pliers. I don't think I can use that, right? I can take it, but what am I going to do with it? Can I kill zombies with it? I don't think so. We do have the... The pistol, we have a screw I think we can use the screwdriver as a melee weapon, right? We got a tissue box, maybe we'll need this later on when we get lonely. A photo frame and then some rotten bread. Alright, can I use... Oh, we can! Alright, so we can use the screwdriver as a melee weapon. Let's show you the house as well. Let's see if there's anything inside. What is this? Oh, is that the power line? So by the looks of it, there's no zombies inside of the houses. They seem to be outside. We got some tables, some pillows. Food? Seeds? Oh, I hear some guys. Cooking oil. 
cream of chicken soup. Uh, I'll take that for later. All right, let's see. I believe if, if we blast the zombies, we're going to be able to yoink their belongings as well. So they're going to have loot. Is that another car? Oh, hey, hey. Oh, okay. That's a lot of them. That guy hurt me. This guy doesn't really care. It's a nice ride. Look at this thing. Oh, we're gonna have to switch trucks for sure. <laughs> we're gonna see. Look at this thing. It's, it's something out of Tokyo Drift. Look at it. Oh, heck yeah. If he has the keys. If he doesn't have the keys, we're screwed. Alright, I'm gonna blast this guy as well. Or maybe not, I guess. The bullets don't reach that far. We're just going on here. This guy is pretty strong. There we go. Jeez. Let's see. Do they have any interesting loot? So we can search them. Beer bottle and bread slice. I mean, we can use both of those things. So I guess it's worth to check out on the zombies. See if they have anything good. This guy has a paper bag. And this guy has absolutely nothing. Does this car work? Oh, is that more food? Or is that a paint can? Yeah, it's a paint can. Peach! Oh, I'll eat that right now. Nom nom. Right, does the car actually work? Uh, we can enter. Oh, that's so dark. And oh, there is no key in the ignition, unfortunately. The battery is broken as well. All right, let's get out of here. This car is in rough shape. I guess we got lucky with the first car. Look at this one; it's just it's ruined. All right, lads. Oh my God! Can we ride that thing? Hold on, buddy. Give me just a second. Is this rideable? Bedroom key. Is it for this house? Hold up. We're about to go in somebody's bedroom here. Which one is it? Is it this one? School backpack. Oh, are we gonna get more inventory space? Equip. Another school backpack. Beer bottle. Glass cleaner. A radio. A screwdriver. And a jigsaw. Right. Alright, so which one is the locked one? This one? Door is locked. Here we go. So we can open it. I have the key. Oh, I have the address. Return to... To Clinton Street, Redford, New York. To Clinton Street. Alright, let's see if we can find that. Alright, I actually found a map. I was looking for a bed to sleep in, but I didn't find one. But I found this newspaper, which I guess is a map. And we can open this up and check it out. This is the world that we're playing in. So right now we are here. Redford. Oh, can I see? There you go. So this is Clinton Street right here. Oh, it's pretty long. Jeez. Uh, can we see the number on the houses? I don't think so. Maybe if it starts from here, this would be one and this would be two. I guess we could just check every house on this street. See if we can find the one that we need. Alright, so this is house number one. And we're looking for house number two. On this street, Clinton Street. And the key should work. I mean, it's either this one or this one, right? Like, if that's number one, this should be number two. There's another truck here as well that we can probably use. Oh, it is number two. Check it out. Number two. All right, so if we go... Oh, my God. Did you see this guy? He's freaking out by the window. Leave me alone, you creepers. 
Right, so up here there should be a locked bedroom and we should be able to open it. It's probably this one. Door is locked, so we can... Um, how'd you... How'd you do this? Like, I have the bedroom key. It is number two Clinton Street. Place? What does that mean? Oh! oh. Wait, can I place it in here? Unfortunately, I couldn't figure out how to open the door. I had the key, I had the right street, the right house, the right door, <laughs> but I couldn't open it. So instead, I went out for a drive, and after that, I got killed by a wolf, and that was about it for my day in the game. So thank you so much for taking the time and hanging on me today. I hope you have enjoyed. In case you did, be sure to drop some stuff and things down below. Be sure to subscribe, and I will see you in the next one with some more video games.